Hello everybody, today in honor of the anniversary of his birth, we will discover one of the most beloved cities in the world, Rome. The Italian capital is the most populous city in Italy and the third most populous city in Europe after Berlin and Madrid. Also known as the Eternal City, it was founded on April 21, 753 before Christ. It had seven kings, Romolo, Numa Pompilio, Tullio Stilio, Anco Marzio, Tarquinio Prisco, Servo Tullio e Tarquinio il Superbo. The myth says that the birth of Rome was the work of the first king Romulus. He was the son of the god Mars, who fell in love with Rea Silvia, niece of King Emilius, who ruled over the city of Alba Longa. Her niece actually took a vow of custody, and her uncle, having learned of the birth of Romulus and his twin brother Remus, ordered their assassination. The servant in charge of killing them did not have the courage to make this choke, and abandoned them of the river Tiber. The twins were found by a crying wolf, who had just lost her cubs. He took them and nursed them, and in Rome we find a statue of the she-wolf suckling in the twins. As they grew up, the two brothers, knowing of their origins, returned to Alba Longa and killed King Hemlius. The twins wanted to give different names to the city and had different ideas on how to administer it. This gave uh, rise to a long discussion that led to the death of Rams. So it was Romulus who took control of the territory, founding the city of Rome. Let's see together what we can visit in the Eternal City. Ancient Rome was built on seven hills, Aventino, Campidoglio, Celio, Esquilino, Palatino, Quirinale and Viminale. The seven hills of Rome were some of the main attractions of Rome. On the Aventino's hill you can visit the Circus Maximus, an ancient Roman circus dedicated to horse racing. Today it is the largest building for the spectacle of antiquity and still today numerous events and great concerts are organized. On the hill you also can find the Orange Garden, where you can enjoy a romantic walk at sunset, also where you can discover the keyhole where you can observe the dome of St. Peter's Basilica. We have the Capitol Hill, where the political center of the city develops. Here, in fact, you can find the municipality, but not only, you can be enchanted by the wonderful panoramic view of the city. Passing then to the Colle Celio, here you can admire the famous Flavian Amphitheatre, also known as the Colosseum, where you can discover the history of the famous gladiators. I give you a little advice. If you want to visit it inside, visit in the company of a guide or an audio guide. Uh, they will tell you everything in details and you will not regret it. The Quirinale Hill is that you will find the kid carters of the President of the Italian Republic and the stable of the Quirinale, where you can admire the changing of the guard. On the other things you can visit, you will find many religious architectures, such as the Pantheon, built as a temple dedicated to the past, present and future gods. When you enter, I suggest you look up towards the dome, since this has a small circular opening, called Oculus. Of course, the most important is the Vatican City, the Papal Seat, where you can admire the Sistina Chapel and, of course, the St. Peter's Basilica. In Rome there are four Papal Basilicas, and in addition to, the San, um, to that of St. Peter, the second largest is the Basilica of St. Paul outside the walls. For the most romantic tourist, I recommend a visit to the Trevi Fountain, where do not forget to throw a coin if you want to make your wish come true. Also, for the most romantic, I recommend a sunset walk on the Lungo Tevere and Ponte Sant'Angelo, where in the evening you can admire the illuminated Castello Sant'Angelo. If you want to enjoy a relaxing day, I recommend a walk in Villa Borghese.
steps, love fashion, don't miss the visit to the Spanish steps, with the famous staircase of Trinita di Monti, where every year are organized wonderful fashion shows. For film lovers, it is inevitable to visit Cinecittà, where you can discover the history of Italian cinema. If you visit Rome during Christmas, remember the visit to Piazza Navona, where they set up the Christmas market and taste a caramelized apple. You cannot also not buy a Christmas ball to hang on the tree, as a souvenir of the visit to the capital. In the middle of the square, you can also admire the fountain of the four rivers. You know that in the past, in this square, water games were carried out in the summer month, then abolished for hygienic reasons. Another famous square is Piazza del Popolo, where there is the Neptune fountain and the Flaminio obelisk, one of the 13 ancient obelisks of Rome. Important is then the Roman Forum, an archaeological area where you can discover the monuments of ancient Rome. I recommend then the visit to the Mount of Truth. It's a huge marble mask famous all over the world, whose legend tells that it could be bite the hand of anyone who inserts it into his mouth and tells a lie is the visit to the Bath of Caracalla, where some of the works of the Farnese collection have been found, of which I have already spoken in a previous video. Rome is a huge city, and surely I have missed other works and important places. I did not tell you about the Borghese Gallery, the Capitoline Museum, the Arapaches Museum, and so on. If you want to make a virtual visit to Rome, do not miss my stories on his Instagram, where as soon as you can move, I will take you with me to visit the capital. But when you visit Rome, you cannot miss the carbonara and cacio e pepe, and many other typical dishes that you will not regret. In the comments below, share your experience, or if you have not yet visited, let me know if you will visit it, and if you want more advice or videos or some places of the Eternal City. Follow me on the various social pages, you can find me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Pinterest and YouTube. Also activate notifications so you don't miss out on my content. Know that with the next video we will discover the places and works of the great artist Leonardo da Vinci.